by you good men and true. Yeah, or else more pity, but they should suffer salvation, body and soul. Nay, that were a punishment too good for them, if they should have any allegiance to them being chosen for the prince's watch. Well, give them their charge, neighbor Dogberry. First, who think the most desertless man to be constable? Hugh Otake or George Seacole? For they can write and read. Come hither, neighbor Seacole. God hath blessed you with a good name. To be a well-favored man is the gift of fortune, but to write and read comes by nature. Both which, Master Constable, you have. I knew it would be your answer. Well, for your favor, sir, why give God thanks and make no boast of it? You are thought here to be the most senseless and fit man for the constable of the watch. Therefore, bear you the lantern. How if I will not stand? If he will not stand when he is bidden, he is none of the prince's subject. We will rather sleep than talk. We know what belongs to watch. Why you speak like an ancient and most quiet watchman? For I cannot see how sleeping should offend. Only I have a care that your bills be not stolen. While you are to call it all, alehouses, and bid those that are drunk to get them out of bed. How if they will not? Why then, let them alone till they are sober. If they make you not, then the better answer. You may say that they are not the men you took them for. Well, sir? If you meet a thief, you may suspect him by virtue of your office, to be no true man. And for such kind of men, the less you meddle to make with them, why the more is for your honesty. If we know him to be a thief, shall we not lay hands on him? Truly by your office you may, but I think that they that touch pitch will be defiled. The most peaceable way for you, if you do take a thief, is to let him show himself what he is and steal out of your company. You have been always a merciful man, partner. Truly I would not hang a dog by my will, much more a man who hath any honesty in him. If you hear a child cry in the night, you must call to the nurse and bid her still in. How if the nurse be asleep? Why then depart in peace and let the child wake her with crying? For that ewe that will not hear her lamb when it bays will never answer a calf when he bleats. Tis very true. Ha <laughs> ha Well, masters, good night. And there be any matter of weight chances, call me up. Keep your fellow's counsels in your own, and good night. Come, neighbor. Well, masters, we hear our charge. We shall sit here upon the church bed until two, and then walk to bed. I am his lover. What was it you told me today that um, Lady Beatrice was in love with uh, Signor Benedict? Oh, I. <laughs> stuck on, stuck on the foul sits. I never did think that woman would be with any man. No, nor I either. But isn't it wonderful that she should so doth dote on uh, Senior Benedict, who she, in all her outward behavior, seemed to abhor? Is it possible that the wind sits in that corner? 